guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today to take a look at a solution that will allow us to control a computer or any other device up to 150 meters away up to 4k at 60 hertz without any delays and we will just need to have on the other side a display keyboard and mouse that is it and to do the connection we just need one single cable so if this solution is interesting for you stay tuned because i'm going to share with you what we need which is very simple and i'm going to give you some examples now if you are using a computer with windows and you still haven't activated that computer don't forget to check out keys fan where we will find budget official om keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you see on screen and the link down below you will be able to get an extra discount so just in case you want to check that out link down below just next to the link of the or a HDMI KVM extender. Now, in the past, a few years ago, we have used so many KVM switches that would allow us to control two computers with just one single mouse and one single keyboard. In this particular case, we are talking about a HDMI KVM extender. So we will be able to control one machine up to 150 meters away with one single cable, and we will be able to control with a keyboard and mouse and play our favorite games. So, taking a look at the package content, we will see that we will have two units, a sender and a receiver, a quick user guide, one power adapter, one USB type B to USB type A, one infrared blaster and one infrared receiver and two ear plates so that we can mount these units to a wall or any other surface. Now, one thing that is interesting is that we only have one power adapter and honestly we just need one power adapter we just need to select which unit we will power and then the other units will be powered by the ethernet cable that will make the bridge between one and the other this is really really interesting now taking a look at the connectivity that we have right over here on the sender side we will find the power input and then we also have the ethernet connection hdmi in infrared in or out and the usb to pc connection on the receiver side we have more or less the same we have a power input which we only use on the sender or on the receiver the ethernet connection the hdmi out the infrared in and out and also two ports usb type a which will be used to connect our keyboard and mouse. I did test out with gamepads too, at least the Xbox gamepad and also the game Sierra. And at this moment, it's not possible to use gamepads. Keyboard and mouse, yes, but the gamepads that I do have are not possible. Now, before we move on to the examples, just really quickly in terms of connectivity so that you can have an idea. On the sender side, we'll plug in the power adapter, the Ethernet cable that will go from one unit to the other unit. It's the only cable that we will need to connect the two units. The HDMI cable that will connect to our PC graphics card and the USB uh, cable that will connect to our computer. So this is the connection that we will need on the sender unit. Now on the receiver, we will need more or less the same. So one single cable to power it on and transfer data, which is the Ethernet cable. Then we will connect the HDMI output to the TV that we want to use. Then if we want to use infrared remotes, we have the infrared in or out for the computer is not necessary, but we do need to plug in the USB dongle to control our keyboard and mouse. And that is it. We are ready to start using any display for controlling our computer up to 150 meters away with just this setup. So here we have a small setup for the HDMI KVM. And at this moment, if I move my mouse around, you will see that I'm using this display, pretending that I'm far away from the office and I'm controlling that computer. The same with the keyboard that I'm using. Now, one thing that I want to show you, which is really cool, the receiver is only connected via Ethernet cable to the sender. So if I remove 
the cable, what happens is that I do remove access to the machine. I no longer have access to the keyboard or to the mouse because this unit right over here is doing all the work. Now, if I connect the Ethernet cable, which provides data and power at the same time, it will give me access to my TV screen, for example, on my living room, and I can just easily uh, control my computer uh, with keyboard, mouse or gamepad. And at this moment, one thing that we are doing is I've got a duplicated screen, but give me is the option to have a extended display as well. So it's really smart in that way that we can have an extended experience if this is something that we want, depending on the objective. So at this moment, I've got two displays right over here, which I can use through the data that is coming here. So it's not just replicating, it's actually telling the computer that this is a different screen and we have connected the peripherals right over here. Now in this example, I'm using a setup box, in this particular case, an Android box connected to the sender unit and then of course the receiver connected to the TV. Now I'm using a infrared remote and we've got the infrared receiver right over here connected and also the infrared blaster right over there which will send signal to the Android TV box. And I'm actually going to turn the Android TV box with the IR receiver to that side. So I'm going to send the signal. Oh, of course we have an Xbox right over here pretending to be a wall to block the infrared signal. So right now I'm going to send the signal right over here and it's going to control the setup box right over there. So as you can see, just pressing right and left and down and whatever and it works. This will work with a setup box or with a DVD player or anything that uses an infrared remote. And that is it. So we can control any computer or any other set of box, a DVD player, any device that we can imagine, we can control with this. We can use the infrared remote on a location which is up to 150 meters away. We can use our keyboard and mouse and there is no delay, no lag whatsoever. We have seen some other solutions in the past where we had some delay, we had some image degradation. Right over here, we are able to get through the Ethernet cable, which is the only cable that we need to connect from one unit to the other, maximum quality. So the advantages are huge. I can have a powerful computer right over here on my setup here on the office, and I don't need to have a secondary computer. I can just plug in one of these units near to my TV upstairs, and I will have full quality up to 4K at 60 Hertz, which is just awesome. So if you already knew these units right over here, a thumbs up for you right over there. If you didn't knew and you are learning about them right now, a thumbs up for me right over here, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, today with the Ore HDMI KVM Extender. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.